That's how young she is, 15 years old. Coco Goff, who, of course, coached by Patrick Maradoglu, and she was in the French Open final last year against Katie McNally in the juniors. So rematch of that. Coco won that match. And this one was three sets again. It was. And McNally up 4-2 in that final set with a couple of points to go up 5-2. But it was Goff who fought her way back. And a fun match to watch. And she joined Brett and Chant on the Rocket Tennis Channel desk. How do you dig deep and, and sort of what place do you go to to deal with any pressure that comes up? Um, I don't really feel pressure from the outside, more within. And then, like, I think I've kind of gotten to this mindset, like, if I lose, nothing's going to happen as long as I keep my composure because no one's going to play their best game every day. But the one thing you can't control is the way you act on the court. So if I can, you know, control the controllables and if she plays a good match and I don't play so well, then, I mean, I can't do anything about what I'm doing on court. All I know is I can control my attitude and all that and try to bring um, just play like practice. I mean, the steps, the, the, the boxes, she just keeps checking them off. First WTA main draw win uh, and the youngest to win since Madison Keys a decade ago. Pretty She's impressive. good. First of all, at 15, I couldn't say a four-syllable word. She's just <laughs> rolling them off the tongue in an interview on live television. She's beyond impressive. She's certainly very gifted, but she's also very much in control, isn't she, for, for where she is. She's not overawed, but um, taking it one step at a time. One thing that in her game that, that we'll watch as it goes on, when, when she's relaxed and comfortable, she's very aggressive, and, and like a lot of players, she gets nervous. She plays really conservatively. She's going to have to learn to hit through that, but she's got a good team around her that can help her figure that stuff out. But at 15, most of us just trying to figure out how to get our braces off. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's going, pretty, going pretty strongly. Can't, can't even drive yet. Uh, she's got a new sponsorship, Barilla, Master of Pasta. You know who else has that sponsorship? Roger Federer. So not bad company there. No, I think there was something there. Maybe the same agent helped do that, Tony <laughs> Godsick. Maybe, but either way, I mean, if you haven't gotten on board the Coco train, yeah. start check sponsoring her, her now before mm -hmm. she becomes number one in the world. And she loves watching Tennis Channel. <laughs>